Hello and welcome to this next part of this tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make the creases for this sofa. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just create a load of cuts all the way down this edge. So just something like this. What you want to do is just make sure you click exactly on the line. Otherwise, in this Blender 2.8, there's a bug in which sometimes if... You, there we go, that just happened there. So I clicked on this edge and yet it has just created... some. There we go an extra vertex here for no reason that if I I'm pretty sure I didn't make this happen before so this is an extra vertex which doesn't need to be there so now I need to go to this one and create dissolve edge which is really really annoying and I'm not sure why that happens but I think I'm actually going to go back to Blender 2.79 to do this part because by the time I get to the end there's going to be a whole load of things I need to clean up in the end and that's what I did previously when before this tutorial when I was trying to do it myself I had to do that and it's very time consuming. So what I've just done is just loaded up Blender 2.79 and we'll just make the cuts in here and then we'll bring it back into Blender 2.8. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm just going to remove this material just so it looks like a normal bl Blender 2.8. It does look still a little bit different because this is a Blender 2.8 model brought into Blender 2.79. Let me get it started. So basically what you want to do is just save this file and this has a name called plane and then go to here and then file append and then append that plane into Blender 2.79. Hopefully by the time you come to this tutorial this bug is fixed. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just go all the way down this face. It's the same method, just press K and create custom cuts. Make sure you stop exactly on a line. Uh huh. And just go all the way along. Bring some in from the top like this, maybe two in, bring another one in that goes all the way down and then maybe make this one just come up just a little bit basically just like that, just a bit random it doesn't need to be perfect and you are creating a load of engons which basically means um, you know one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five vertexes or, or more on one face, <coughs> but that's fine when you add the subdivision surface it all becomes fixed and that actually creates the kind of crease look anyway. Oops, okay that will do. Actually let's go from this one. And I'm just gonna check that none of these are doing what it did in two point seven eight. No, these are all these all look fine. So that's what I kind of expect. Yeah, so I'm just gonna carry on then until I get to the end. And of course you can actually do um, some cuts a bit like this to make things a bit more varied and then bring a couple up like this and this will create some curved creases so we could do the same here. But yeah, it's kind of open to your interpretation. Let's bring one here. Because of course creases don't go straight down always. Okay, so that's a load of cuts all down the edge, and I know that it is mirrored, which is fine, um, because we'll apply the mirror and then we'll bring out all of these at different different widths. But you can already see some kind of creasing happening already, and that is just by this method. So next thing you want to do is just go to the top and add some creases here too. So I'm just going to add some going here, like they're here, and going all the way along, and then we'll move on to adding some inside here. So I'm probably going to fast forward this again. <coughs> it is quite a cool idea to carry on from a cut that you made previously because the creases will generally be continuing on anyway if you see like onto the actual top section but again this doesn't need to be perfect let's just do something like this and again here you can also bring them down like that if you want to to make it kind of merge into the rest of the material Okay, there we go. So that has done that edge and now let's move on to the centerpiece. And this is basically the same system. For some of them we can do something like this. They go all the way along from one end to the other. Like this. And 
that. Another one you can do is just go from the center and go up a little bit. And same for this side. Something like that. And then add a few are going around as well. Even maybe link it up to these if you want to. Now this bit is a bit time consuming, so I'm going to fast forward again and see you in a sec. Okay, so this now has cuts all over it and I'm going to save this file and then re-import this mesh back into Blender 2.8. And Blender 2.8, let's just move this old one out of the way and import the new one. Apply the same material, there we go. And now we have a thing which we're ready to create some cuts with. And none of these should have created any extra vertices. I did actually find one which was here, but I think that was just a, a mistake I made. So yeah, what do we do now? So what I do is just grab the edge select and just hold down the Alt key and... Oh, actually, sorry, let's apply the mirror. Um... Actually, I'm not going to apply the x-axis, I'm going to apply this here, like this. I'm going to apply another mirror, and yeah, there we go. I'm just going to turn back on clipping just in case. So now any creases I create to this edge, it's going to create to this edge as well. So yes, yeah, just hold down the Alt and Shift and go through and select some at random. You don't want to select them which are right next to each other, because if we scale these in, they're going to scale together, but you want them all to be random. So just go along and select some, whichever ones you want. <coughs> and then we'll fine tune this later on. Okay, I'm going to go back into wireframe and select vertices, and I should be able to see some vertexes now. I basically want to remove these that are on the top because if I move these you'll be able to then see inside which we don't want so I just want to go side view and yeah I mean I should be able to see the vertices now but I can't do this do the same down here just grab these to try to deselect any that might be going underneath and actually I'm going to remove these ones okay I think that should be fine and then what you, oh, there's uh, some edge, some selected here, so I'm just going to go back into edge select and just deselect these. Okay, now what we want to do is just go back to solid mode and press Alt and S and bring them out just a little bit. Now you can see some creases starting to appear. And the same thing, we want to go back all the way through again, but then bring some inwards. And then we can kind of just play with some if we think some need changing, whatever. So. Let's just go through, um, select really any that you like. It's not really exact, just... Okay, so now we've got these selected, let's just go and press Alt-S and go inwards. Okay, cool, and there's some missing here. So what I want to do is maybe grab these ones and bring them inwards. Maybe bring this one outwards. And maybe this one here. And let's just bring the middle one in. Okay, so it kind of goes in then and out. Let's maybe do the same for this one here, bring this one in. Oh, sorry, this one. Okay, and there's some edges missing here. Yep. 
Okay, there we go. So this is looking quite creasy now, and as they're quite random, it does give it a bit more realistic feel. Okay, now if you want to see how this looks in the rendered view, so we can kind of see if how this effect looks in actual rendered mode, if we just go to rendered, and this will be in EV, and just press Shift A and add an area light, and I oh know scale this down and turn on contact shadows maybe and yeah like a high angle light allows you to see some creases a bit easier or you can go to the side and you'll see the final effect from the fabric itself so yeah I think that's looking pretty cool so let's just move to the top edge now and I want to do the same thing basically so select these edges so not ones which are right next to each other and just go random all together actually for this one I'm I am going to do this I'm going to select the whole edges like this and there's a mistake here and there's a mistake here I'll go through and fix them in a minute okay then go back to the side view rendered sorry, a wireframe, and go to the vertex mode and just deselect any here. Okay, that deselected the whole thing. Okay. Just deselect any in the crevice. Go back to the edge mode and just, oh. Clean up any of these. Okay, there we go. So now I want to go into this mode and pr just press Alt S again. Either bring them up or bring them in. I'll probably bring these ones in. Okay, and now we want to do the same thing again and then bring these the other ones out. Okay, then just press Alt S and again and bring these ones up maybe. There we go, now we have some creases going around them edge bits. So now what I want to do is add some creases in here. So again, just the same thing, let's just go right through and just select a load of edges. Okay, I don't want too many of them connecting in the middle. Otherwise that might ruin the effect in places and I don't want any overlapping or being next to each other, sorry. Okay, and yeah, just disconnect a few. Make them different lengths. Okay, and some of them are actually going around the corner, so let's go wireframe, just remove them. Okay. Maybe just add a few more around here. Oh, okay. Yep, and then do Alt S again. Bring them. Oh, okay, let's remove this one. Bring them in. There we go. So you can now see a really nice effect coming on here where this looked like they're being pulled in. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is just turn off subdivision so I can see what's going on and just now select some other random ones. Okay, then press Alt S and bring these ones in. Okay, so let's turn subdivision back on and this is looking really nice. Let's go into rendered, see how it looks. I think that's looking pretty realistic. And EV still blows my mind, but yeah, this is really cool. Obviously, there's some stretching happening because we need to apply the unwrap after the UV, but uh, for now, it's pretty cool. I think that's pretty much it for now. What I can do is, or you could do, is go through and add some more creases and just more fine details. So you can really, if you wanted to, uh, go through and add, add another one where you think it's needed like this and just bring that bring this one in or out you know it's completely up to you and yeah actually first I remember there are some errors so just, let's just see what's going on here 
Uh, there's a double, there's a, a UV, sorry, a vertice here, which I just need to dissolve. And where are the other ones? Uh, there's another one here. So I think the same thing here. Let's dissolve vertex and okay, there's just one on its own here. Let's just remove this one. And another one here. Okay, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna move on to the next step now and and yeah, the next step I'm going to add the edges, the edge frame, and then afterwards we'll add the cushions and then that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.